Hi Impulse family, Dexter here just bringing up a question that's brought up fairly often which is how do I create an auto modifier and what is an auto modifier? An auto modifier is a decision that is forced upon your staff when serving a customer. The primary example that we use is that of a stake. When you press stake in an Impulse system it will then pop up with a screen on how to cook the steak. So is it rare, is it medium rare? And from there they can be navigated to another page which will pop up saying what sort of sauce or side does the customer want. Now how to create an auto modifier is a six step process and this is done completely in back office. Basically once you've stepped into back office you need to go through the following steps. First of all you go into your menu details items. Find the item you wish to be the auto modifier be it using the search bar or filter through the departments. Select, let's say, following the example of a steak. Let's say your porterhouse. You'll then find in the top right corner of that page is a tick box that says auto modi. Tick that box and then press update. From there, you would then close out of items. Go again into menu details, into modifiers. I would recommend first having a look through your modifiers to see if the modifier doesn't already exist. Say, if your medium rare or something else doesn't already affect another item. This way you don't have to have that double up. Otherwise, go into your add tab up the top and add in those modifiers, be it your rare, your medium rare, your peppercorn sauce, or a side of chips. From there, save all of those modifiers and close out of modifier. Then go back into menu details, into sublist. Then you will see a list of all your, your sublists. These are broken down into both sublists and modi lists. Now, when creating an auto modifier, what we want to do is generate a modi list. And the way we do this is we press the auto button up the top middle part of your screen, which will then automatically generate you the next number in your list. From there, you would then choose the name you're going to create for this list. Let's say steak cooking options. From there, we'll then look at the top right. There is an indicator that you can choose between sublist and modi list. Select modi list. From there, select save new. This will then generate your new list. It will be currently a blank canvas that you can add in whatever you want. Track down that list on your page and then over on your bottom right hand side of your screen you'll see that it is already searching in your criteria for modifiers. This is the reason why we have selected a modi list because a modi list is purely for modifiers. From there we would then search for our rare, our medium, our well done, our overcooked, drag them into the boxes displayed and press update. From there, that sublist slash modi list is now created. From there, we can now close out of sublist and move on to the next step. The next step is going back into menu details, going into the auto modifier tab, which is down the bottom, and bring up your page. From here, you'll actually see a list of all of your auto modifiers. From here, we can then search and narrow down for that porterhouse that we were just talking about. When we highlight the porterhouse, you'll see down the bottom left side, a blank box. This is where we're going to be putting in those options. So you're going to look over to your right and you're going to see that you have your modifiers there. You click the drop down to search for a new criteria called lists. From there, when you click lists, it will now give you a complete breakdown of every single module list that you have in your system so far. Scroll through that list and drag and click on your steak cooking options. From there, drag it left into the empty field box. There you'll now see that it'll say something like steak cooking options reference X. From there, you can then actually look down and you can actually see a quantity of a minimum and maximum amount. Now what this is for is the ability to move on from the page. So you can actually set it so that your staff can't skip this option by setting the minimum as one. Then you can make it automatically move on from that option by setting the maximum as one. So they can only select one cooking method. From there, you can now press update, save, and close. Once you've done all these steps, the next thing to do is to go into POS functions, menu design, and then go into your menu design and menu details and actually implement the item so that it is in location. If you are happy with this location, jump into front office and test your item. It should now pop up with the ability to at least choose your cooking option.